Okay, now I've done this layer of red and it's all, everything has some red on it. And the difference in darkness comes from how heavy I put the red on. So it's like shading with a pencil. It's just going back and forth with the airbrush until that layer gets thick enough that it gets to its darkest color. This is all one color over the yellow base. And I made the darkest areas where I want the where I want the shadows to be the most red. So I made darker shadows under his cheek there because I want him to have a somewhat red cheek. And I don't want to have to put a lot of brown on it. But other areas that are naturally less red on the face, like maybe the upper part of the cheek or the side of the nose or under the eyes. Sometimes these areas are not as red. I don't have as much of it. So my final layer is this brown. It's real important to me that Jesus doesn't look like a white guy. I don't think he was that white. I mean, not only were they in, a, in, in the sun a lot. I mean, that's why they covered their heads a lot of the time. It's probably because sun. But he wasn't an Anglo. He was not a white guy. He was an Israelite. So I don't think that he was all that white. It's very weird to me in the Hollywood movies when Jesus is such a white guy. This all looks real dark right now. But you have to remember that pure white represents your brightest light. White doesn't just represent a white object in a picture. White represents your brightest light in a picture. So I think a very common mistake is starting out with too dark or too light of a color in relativity to what the rest of the picture is going to be. So with skin tone, I gotta make sure I make it dark enough that I can still get quite a few things to be lighter so that I can actually make light look like light. Now that I'm starting to get the shadows where I want them all over the face, I'll just do a, a thin layer over the entire thing because none of those areas do I want to be that first yellow that I laid down. Uh, all, every tone on here is a combination of the three. It's red cheeks. You know, I want those to be the reddest part, so I gotta make sure I get enough. Well, the nose, too. You know, by shading this cheek, no, no matter what face you're doing, if you shade the underside of a, of a cheek just to the side of these nostrils, every time it makes the person smile, it makes the eyes smile. The mouth doesn't even need to be smiling, you know, just by having the shadow on that cheek. It raises those muscles up. Those are smile muscles. And I've got the eye squinted too, so that helps a lot. But this right here, you put that shadow and it's like instant smiley. If, if there's area, one, one other thing that I've learned is that with, if there's areas that seem like they need more, like you didn't put enough of the layer on, I just come back with a little brush. Very watered down red here, the red that I started with, and I'll put that in here because I want a little more shadow in this eye socket. Right there. But see, if I go straight with this brown, it'll be the wrong color. So I gotta get the red there first. When you start getting into detail like this, it, this can be a complicated method using the red, but I don't know, it just has a really good look to it that I like. dry it with the airbrush air. Yeah, I think it looks alright. I'll leave it there.